everybody! Welcome back to another story time. Today we're going to be reading Spider Sandwiches and it's by Claire Friedman and Sue Hendra. Do come to tea with Max. He has a monster appetite. He eats such yucky mucky food. His meal times are a fright. He loves to glug slug milkshake through a stinky hose pipe straw and as for beetle biscuits he can always munch one more. For breakfast every morning he chews toenail scrambled eggs then guzzles down a smoothie made from squidged grasshopper legs. He buys snacks on the internet from as far away as space Spiky space ants, moon goo globs are all stuffed in his face. By lunchtime, Max is starving. Scrummy light rice, I can't wait. He slurps it super fast before the lice crawl off his plate. He bought the monster's cookbook for some recipe ideas. The best was slimed eel noodles served with hairy fried bat's ears. To pickled worms and squashed fly jam, Max beams, hooray, yes please. He spreads them on his crackers, poo, with smelly fish eye cheese. So delicious, gurgles Max with a massive goo-filled grin. Cold, crunchy cockroach curry drip dribbling down his chin. Tadpole ice cream, snail trail sauce, things that squirm and slurp. They all mix in his tummy. Look out, here comes a burp. Rat's tail pizza. Blue mold chips, bug burgers are a treat. But when it comes to tea time, there's just one thing he will eat. Squiggly spider sandwiches. He shoves them in so fast. He eats their heads and sticky webs, but saves their legs for last. Max will eat up anything that oozes gunk and gloop, but even monsters gasp, no thanks, when faced with green sprout soup. Can you think of any really yucky things that monsters might like to have on their sandwiches? What do you like to have on your sandwiches? Thank you for listening. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye.